In this video, we're going to learn how the cab and the microphone can change your sound in your rig. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Dr. McFarland and the cab and microphone is one of my favorite things to mess with in a rig because you'd be surprised how drastic of a sound you can get just by changing one little element in your rig. So what we're going to do is keep the tangerine amp in the rig, but now we're just going to change the cab. And then once we go through the cabs a few times, we'll actually go back and change the microphone and listen to how it changes your sound overall. So to start off with, we're going to listen to the 2x12B30, which is basically a vintage 30 2x12 cab. And let's just do a run of the mill SM57. We're going to keep this on axis and let's just play a little bit and then we're going to switch the cab. <laughs> Now something really cool is if you click on the cabinets, you can now use the rotary encoder to switch between the different ones without having to click, go out of the drop down menu, then click it again to get back into the drop down menu. So it's just a little time saving trick as you move in and out of your rigs. So now let's do the four by 12 classic 30 watt. <laughs> Okay, so each one of those was a little different from the other, and it's just good practice to go through each cab and listen for a little nuances to help train your ear even further to discover the type of tones that you like and prefer. All right, let's go back to the classic 30 watt now, and we're just gonna change the mic type. So what we have available is the Dyn 7, which is like a SM7B, Dyn 57, which is a SM57, a Sennheiser 409, Sennheiser MD421, a Neumann 67, Neumann U87, and a Condenser 414, and a Royer Ribbon 121 microphone. So let's listen to the Dyn 7 now. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. That is a few different cabs, a few different microphones. And you let me know if you had any aha moments down in the comments. And I know we're not used to having so many options, especially if you never had a digital modeler before. But let me tell you, there is a lot of tone sculpting that can go on just by changing the cab and the microphone. And in future videos, we'll make sure to dive into impulse responses and see what those are all about. But for now, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell. 
And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And there are plenty of links in the description if you want to check out my website and buy a couple of courses. Or if you want to click through my Sweetwater affiliate links and help support the channel by making a purchase through those links. So I appreciate all you guys for watching. And until next time, I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.